All right, so in this video, we're going to write a program that takes an integer and sets the nth bit and that binary representation of that integer. So if the bit is zero, it's going to set that particular bit to a one. So as an example here, we can take the binary representation of six, and that is given by this number here, one, one, zero, the binary number there. And if we order the bits in this particular way, the least significant bit is given by this B0 bit here on the far right. The most significant bit here on the left, the far left, is B2. And let's say, for the sake of example, we want to set this bit here, the least significant bit on the far right, from a 0 to a 1. So what we want our function to do is we want to turn this 0 into a 1, so that way we'll end up with this binary number right here. So what we're going to end up doing is combining the idea that we had in a previous video where we checked if the nth bit was set, where we used the bit shift operator. We're going to combine that idea um, and build upon that. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link to that in the description below if you're confused about um, how the bit shift operator works. Hopefully that video will be sort of a precursor to how to solve this particular problem. So I'm just going to leave a comment here that says we can combine the bit shift operator uh, with the same idea used in the video link in the description. And again, that was where we checked if the nth bit of the binary representation of a number was set or not. So let's just take an example here. Let's just keep with the example of the binary representation of six, and we'll see how we can make use of the binary shift or the bit shift operator along with what we'll use the uh, or operator, the logical or operator to solve this problem for us. So I'm going to say example, and what we want to do in this example, as we said above, is set, let's say, the zeroth bit of the binary representation of six. So the example is we have six here, and again, that's given by this number, one, one, zero. And what we want to do, or what we'll end up doing, is we want to have some way of essentially setting this far right bit from a zero to a one. So one way we can do that is we can have, let's say, a binary number that looks like this. And if we go through an or, this particular binary number with all of the components of this binary number, what we get here is we get essentially any of the ones that already have a one stay one because we're taking the or operation between them. So we're essentially doing nothing to those. So zero or with one, we have one. Zero or with one, we have one. And now this is the particular bit that we want to set. So since we're oring a zero, a non-set bit, with a one, we're going to wind up with a one here, and that's going to set that particular bit. So in other words, what we're doing is we're placing this particular one at the location, the nth location, in the binary representation of where we want to have it set. So in this case, it happens to be at the zeroth. Um, position of this string. That's where we want to actually set the bit relative in this binary representation of the number six. If we do that, we perform the OR operation, we get this number here. So again, just kind of leaves everything else unchecked because we're ORing with zero, has no effect on anything else. O otherwise, if we have this one here, we're ORing with a zero, we're going to set that particular bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and put an OR operation here to be explicit that we're actually ORing the, these two numbers together and we're winding up with this uh, resulting number here. So let's go ahead and just code that up. So I'll write a function called set nth bit. This will take x, which will be the binary representation of the number, or just the number itself rather, and then we'll take n. So this is the location, the nth bit that we want to actually set in our number. So if we go ahead and say return uh, x or with 1 shifted over by, let's say, 1, or not 1, but rather shift over by n, this is going to effectively do the same thing as this example up here. So I should be explicit as to how we actually calculate this particular number here. We're essentially taking one and we're moving one over to the left, however many positions we need to in order to line one up to the bit that we want to set. In this case, we're not moving one over at all, we're just shifting it to the left zero positions. So this is actually equivalent to one shifted over to the left by zero positions or just the binary representation of the number one. So if we wanted to, let's say, shift um, the bit over here, if we had a number that looked like this, for instance, and if we wanted to set this bit, b2, then what we would do is we would shift this one 
over from here all the way over to here. So in other words, we would shift this one from the zeroth position all the way to the second position, and this describes the binary number one shifted over by two. So let's just go back to what we had before. So we're going to return x ORD with this shifted over by n. So we're taking one, we're shifting it over n positions because we want to align that one up with where we want to actually set the bit, and then we're performing the OR and the binary representation of the number, which in this case is x. So let's go ahead and just see what this does. So we'll say print set nth bit, and then we'll feed in the number that we want to perform this on, and then let's say zero, because we want to set the zeroth bit. Let's go ahead and write that. I'll clear the terminal, and then I'll give this a run. So I'll say Python set nth bit, and if we do that, we get seven. So that is because this binary number here with all ones here represents the number seven. Now, if you wanted to arrive at the binary number as opposed to the, the integer, what you could do instead is you could just return the uh, binary representation of this thing. So x ORD with one shifted over by n. So if we comment out this return statement here, and let me just give an extra space here so that is good. So if we do this, let's see what we get. So I'm going to write that and then run it. So we get that this uh, binary number here, all, all three ones, this is the binary representation of seven. Now if we want to get rid of this zero B here, which is conventional when you convert something to a binary number in Python, we can just lop those off by just accessing this as an array, lopping off the first two bits, or the first two elements of this particular array, that would be 0 and b. If we go ahead and do that, we remove the 0 and b, and we wind up with the binary representation of the number that we get from turning that last or that most right bit on. So that, depending on what you're after, if you want the binary representation of the number or the number itself, you can do either of these two things. So that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. The code, as always, will be available on my GitHub, and a link to that will be in the description of this video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.